Hello. Again from this coronavirus, novel coronavirus. So this is a video I would like you to listen from start to end because it has very good information regarding <laughs> everyone in the area of this planet. And uh, he he knows what he is talking about. Yes. The Singapore government is issuing 5.2 million surgical face masks to the country's households. However, National Development Minister Lawrence Wong, Wong uh, is urging Singaporeans to use them only if someone is ill and needs to visit the doctor. I still show you the whole thing. Listen carefully. We will prioritize the stockpile of masks that we have for essential services, specifically for our healthcare workers at the front line. I think they need to be protected. They are at the front line and we have to prioritize the mask for them. Secondly, for the general public, we will do a one-time exercise to release masks from our national stockpile directly to Singaporeans. So we will prepare packets of four masks to be distributed to every local household in Singapore. And we'll set up distribution points where people can collect these masks from and Minister Chan later will elaborate on this particular plan. Now we are doing this to assure Singaporeans that every family will have access to masks if someone in your family really needs it. Me meaning to say if someone in your family falls sick and needs to go out to see a doctor, then you will have the mask at hand for that contingency. So when you get the mask, when, once the distribution is set up and you are able to collect the mask, please, our, our, uh, we would like to call on Singaporeans, please use them responsibly. Do not open up the packet and start using them right away. There is no need to, as, as far as the medical experts have said, there is no need to. So listen use here. Only if you are unwell and have to go out to see the doctor. That is the reason for the mask, and this is the reason why we are doing this one-time exercise to distribute it to Singapore households and to assure people that if you really need to, the mask is available for you. Here we're in Finland, and listen. Remember, uh, at the end of the day, masks do not confer automatic protection against the virus. It is not something that you can wear and automatically get protected. In fact, you know, medical experts, not just in Singapore, but in other countries, have highlighted that sometimes wearing the mask or wearing it wrongly uh, can give you a false sense of security. So you wear it, you have a false sense of security, you wear it wrongly, it may not be effective. Worse, if you wear it, and then you still use your hands to touch your face constantly, it doesn't help at all because there is more likelihood that the virus can spread through contact through your hands. So what's of utmost importance, and I, I can understand Singaporeans being very anxious about the spread of the virus and wanting to do something to protect themselves, the best thing that every Singaporean can do to protect Listen. himself, herself, and their family members is to uphold good personal hygiene. Wash your hands regularly with soap. Because hands, when you touch different items, hands can be the, the one way in which these viruses get transmitted. So wash your hands regularly with soap. Don't touch your face with hands, with your hands, because when your hands are dirty and you without realizing it, you touch your face, the mucous membranes, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. That's how 
buy with his bread. And if thirdly, if you are sick, don't go out. Uh, if you are sick, don't send your kids to school. If you are sick, don't go to work and risk the spread of illness to others. If you are sick, then see a doctor and the mask is there for you to wear it and then you can see a doctor uh, when you have to go out. So that had some great points, us all, even here in Finland, to think about. The usage of the mask is for those who, for example, those who are taking care of people who has flu, and for those who has the flu and has to go to see the doctor. Uh, the mask itself doesn't automatically protect you from anything, and as he said, it perhaps gives you the false sense of pro protection, so something to think about. As World Health Organization just published again this, reduce your risk of coronavirus infection, clean hands with soap and water, or our alcohol-based hand rub. Cover nose and mouth when coughing and sneezing with tissue or flexed elbow. Avoid close contact with anyone with cold or flu-like symptoms. True, true, truly cook meat and eggs. Avoid unprotected contact with life wild or farm animals and uh, all these things are basic info to have a healthy life whether there are viruses or not in or in around the corner you should in any cases have a life like that so this this is not worthless information you should now learn this is basic information in basic, good, healthy life. And remember to have D, D vitamin right now, because the sun does not give you the right amount of D vitamin. So buy it from places where they sell those and have the large amount of Eat <laughs> and eat C, eat C vitamin, eat vegetables and drink water, as I said. Have some movement in your body that the, all the things in your body moves and keep you healthy. Mm. And I should go to watch what this here shows. 170 deaths, but total recovery is near the same. Well, that was, there was no, that, that, that was odd, odd, odd thing to say. Well, they look close, close numbers. What was I thinking? Total deaths. 170 total recovered 133 and this number has jumped quite much yesterday it was slightly over 6000 now it's almost 8000 Um, why is that dot there? Odd. 
that's not correct information. Well, the, the dot is for reason in Finland, that's true. But the red dot should be somewhere there. Sorry. Sorry, I take too much of your time. I will not cut this off. So the person who has this coronavirus here in Finland is 32 years old and and is in in rather good condition. So this person traveled here from Wuhan. more than a week ago that person was in Beijing be baking baking how you say it and um, went to the Helsinki Vanta and after that that person took another plane and where in the area of Ivala and has been near those areas all the time. Uh, this person had high fever and runny nose and some coughing. From Ivala, they d decided that this person are going to be sent directly to the Saariselka, to Lapland, Rovaniemi. And there might be 15 So they claim this page that it's in the Yuvaskula area, oddly so, but she, I wasn't meant to say the pronoun. This person is here, so that's quite far away the real place well maybe they have their reason to do so so this person called uh, infection doctor Marco Proasi says that if you have spent more than 15 minutes in the same area that than this person that has the virus it, it heightens the chance of infection the broa says that the virus is uh, 
infectable <laughs> two days before the symptoms start. So that's not right now, but that's not a big mistake. <laughs> it is. Really, it is quite a big mistake. Finland won. But perhaps they have their own reason why it is in there. Yeah. So let's go back to the basics here. I would like to show my face a little bit more. See? The picture. Reduce your risk of coronavirus infection. Clean hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. There are circling pictures, Finnish people with beer in saunas. We are taking care of our health. <laughs> Cover nose and mouth when coughing and sneezing with tissue or flexed elbow. Avoid close contact with anyone with cold or flu-like symptoms. True, uh, truly true. Truly, I say that. Truly cook meat and eggs. Avoid unprotected contact with live, live wild or home animals. <laughs> Take care of yourself. So I just took more than 70 minutes of, from your life. <laughs> I am no virus. Take care of yourselves. See ya.